I am Fred Kinderson, a industrial photographer, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I started many, many years ago developing film in my basement. I've had a lot of good, I call them lucky, but I, I should call them blessed um, events in my life that have built my career. And I was raised in a family where hard work was the other word. And around thir the age of 13, I started developing film and the sensation of seeing an image that you could produce was really thrilling. I lived on the hill, one of the closest houses to the Pittsburgh Courier. And one day, Teeny Harris always caught the trolley right next to my house. And one day I asked Teeny, could I carry your camera bag someday? And maybe I can learn or pick up a few tips. And he said to me, boy, if you ever learn photography, you're gonna learn it the hard way as I did. And I never forgot that. And I know as I learned photography, I always remembered you learned it the hard way. I, as a photographer, was never uh, much of a street photographer. I would get, I can't say depressed. That just wasn't what I wanted to do. I was trained in the studio. I was trained on locations, and that was the style of photography that I think I picked up. I think my big earning, yearning in photography was to be an artist. So I opened up a studio downtown within a couple blocks of PPG because I was doing a lot of uh, portraits for PPG. Two more days, I'll be 85, and we can do another hour talking about resistance. We were shooting eight by 10 cameras on construction sites. And one day I was sent to the airport to meet a man coming in from an advertising agency in New York. And all of a sudden, there was nobody on the floor but me and another man. And I couldn't leave my equipment when the crowd was there. So I walked over to him and asked him, was he Mr. X? And he looked at me and he realized, that's my photographer. And I was to take a picture of him in a meal in West Virginia. And all the way down, he apologized. And he was gonna write a letter, which he did to my boss, to explain that I was on time, but he was looking for a photographer. He wasn't looking for a black photographer. That was his shock. My name is Cynthia Marie Kenderson. I go by the art name I Am Sense, and I am the co-owner of this art gallery, Black House Collections. Fred Kenderson is my father. He is a photographer to some. He is a teacher to some. He is a mentor to some. Um, he is an icon to some. Um, he is an iconic genius to me. It makes me proud that my father was one of the first corporate black photographers in Pittsburgh. Anyone can draw, anyone can be considered an artist, but to be considered a corporate artist uh, means that you have to be accepted, chosen. And during that time period, it was a very racist time period. I was a photographer, not just a black photographer who could only take a black picture. I've carried this with me for years. Was my father a teacher to me? Most definitely. I saw him as a teacher to the community, even though I didn't understand that. My father just had that aura of a teacher when he talks. I just can't call him and ask a simple question. Um, he's going to give me a lesson and an understanding. That's the speed okay. of the car. Okay. Now the higher the speed, the more pixels. Okay. A, a good teacher is not a person that's going to give you an answer. They're going. They want you to have the experience, and that's how I see my father. It's a person that wants you to have the experience. Always describe my camera similar to the hammer of a carpenter. 
it's simply a tool. That's all it is. It's, it's a fancy thing. They cost a lot of money, but it records what I see. And, and the style of photography that I had was pictures that I made, not snapped. I didn't understand um, my father being on the level of a Teeny Harris or any other names because I never really followed photography as an art form. I saw him as this businessman that had a craft, was a master of his craft, but I didn't understand the artistic aspect until I began to merge and understand my artistic place and then I began to understand my father's artistic place. I had a dream like my father for years. Um, this gallery is a uh, manifestation of something that I carried with me for about 20 years. It was ironic, I always wanted to start in the black community. I thought about starting in Wilkinsburg, uh, where I was from. I then rented a studio in Homewood in search for buildings and I just didn't feel, find the fit until finally one day my former um, president of my company who owns this building called me and said, hey, I have a vacancy, would you like to start your gallery? And the ironic part was when I came down here, I was like, wow, why downtown? Why, why in this corner? Why on this street? And when I walked around the corner, I was like, wow, this is very ironic. My father, first building was around the corner. We were raised to do your thing and be yourself and be the best self you could be. And that's what I think Cindy does is she's doing her thing. She's, she's living her dream. I think he deserves a public recognition because for one, he's a part of Pittsburgh. For two, because I believe he added value to Pittsburgh. That's when I realized that the respect uh, that he is that he is due, not just as the artist, as the craft, but as the teacher, the mentor, the person that he is, and the inspiration that he is to people. As a trailblazer, I, I, I didn't like titles. Yes, yes, I was the only one there. I didn't have much to confer with, nothing to compare with, but uh, I always considered myself blessed that I was able to make a living doing something that I truly enjoyed doing and doing my way and could sell myself as myself.